in R, two matrices can be joined in a column-wise manner using the C-bind function. So the C-bind function accepts the names of two matrices as its arguments such that both these matrices should have the same number of rows. Now the resultant matrices, the resultant matrix from the C-bind function has the same number of rows as its original two matrices, but the number of columns is equal to the sum of the number of columns present in each of the original matrix. So here we have two matrices A and B. A has three rows and B also has three rows. That is why we are able to apply the C bind function and get a resultant matrix D. Let's see the output. Now as the output shows, this is the matrix A that has four columns and three rows. This is the matrix B that has three rows and two columns. And when we combine both these matrices using the C bind function, we get a new matrix D that has three rows, six columns. That means four columns, the first four columns from A and the last two columns from B.